Hey there, it's Willis, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to show you a video about a new computer that I'm about to build and uh, some of the reasons as to the parts that I chose and why I'm building it and um, yeah, we'll have a quick look at that. Uh, so part of the reason is that I wanted a computer uh, as a home lab and so what I wanted was something with lots of cores. It wasn't too expensive, it didn't need to be really fast and powerful. Um, my primary workstation is an iMac, uh, late 2005 Retina and that's been going fantastic, awesome for photography, uh, single core performance is fantastic but I just wanted something with lots of cores so I could test out building lots of um, virtual servers, machines, that sort of thing and uh, I think what may also help with this being multi-core um, or is that I can um, use it for exporting uh, like post-production work and whatnot. So let's have a look and see what we got here. All right, so starting off with processor. It's an AMD Ryzen 7 1700, um, and that came out probably about March, April, May last year. So the, the Ryzen 7 1700 is uh, eight cores, 16 threads. Uh, it's clocked at three gigahertz. Uh, with the turbo boost up to 3.7 and I had originally been looking at the uh, Ryzen 7 1800X uh, which is similar, 8 cores, 16 threads um, but it was 4 gigahertz I believe uh, the boost, maybe not, whatever anyway, uh, so the, the, the reason why I chose this one is that um, the, the power uh, requirement is uh, 65 watts um, whereas the 1700X and the 1800X is 95 and the other thing also is with those X variants is that you need to buy an external cooler um, which I ended up doing anyway because of the needs and what I wanted but uh, I spent like about two or three weeks researching all the different types of coolers and cases to try and get it into a smallest uh, form factor as possible but in the end I ended up going for this um, it's a little bit cheaper, uh, even though AMD had a price drop. And let's have a look, what's next? Uh, motherboard, so I've gone for a mini ITX build and the one that I've got is a Gigabyte um, AB350N. The 350 series of the Ryzen chipsets is in the mid tier. There is the uh, 370 and also the 320 and uh, to be honest, for what I wanted to use it for, there's not too much difference. Um, between the 370 and the 350 so I just went for this one and it's a lot cheaper as well. Uh, it's only got two DIMMs for 30, a maximum of 32 gigs of RAM um, but I think that's fine for this purpose. Um, other than that it's just the motherboard, it's nice compact. Next up we have got memory. So I've got Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR4 3000 uh, megahertz memory. Uh, 2x16 gig sticks, that's the max that the motherboard can take. Um, it has LEDs, cool, but uh, the case I've got doesn't have a window, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what else about it? Yeah, I think it's good for overclocking, um, and yeah, whatever. Memory, uh... So for operating system storage, I've got a Western Digital Black PCIe M2. Uh, it's only 256 gig, but that's fine for the work that I'm using it. Um, because most of the VMs will be stored on the other drive, which is the Western Digital Blue, 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 three terabyte. Um, yeah, it wasn't that expensive. Uh, the, the the Blue class is a 5400 RPM, so you know, less noise. Uh, I don't really need it for high speed performance, so good enough uh, for what I want to use it for. Fantastic. Moving on, oh, yes, so video card is a GeForce um, GT730, which one I picked, and this is the reason why, is it's a low profile, low-ish profile, uh, silent um, video card. Silent means no fan, so it's just a huge heat sink and that it should be fine in my case um, and because what I'm using it for isn't for gaming or anything like that so I don't need a high-end graphics card the other thing also is that at the moment graphics card prices are just going through the roof because of crypto mining uh, next up I guess what I've got on the table here is a Noctua NHL9A-AM4 
uh, low profile cooler naming could have been better. So this cooler is a AM4, which is the Ryzen chipset um, socket type uh, cooler. It's only 37 mil in height, so low profile. Um, it doesn't make too much noise. I think it only max, like spins up at maximum like 1500 to 2000 RPM. That's great. And what you get inside is a badge. How cool is that? Um, there is also Check that out, that's pretty cool. Um, so there's thermal paste. I've got some Arctic Silver already, so I don't know, I might, well, we'll see how we go, I might use this one first. These are the screws, and this is the fan cable, extension cable if you need it. And this is the CPU cooler itself. So it's pretty thin, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, and then there's also, this is great because of the bracket uh, that you use to mount it. It's like an aluminium plate or steel plate. Uh, so it should be nice and solid. Yeah. Wow. All right, there's that one. Um, <coughs> next up, we've got power supply. So it's a Silverstone 500 watt um, SFX, which is a small form factor power supply. Uh, what is so special about it? I don't know, it's modular, which means that all the cables don't come out of the power supply, so you only plug in what you need to use. And 80 plus gold, gold is good, right? Okay, and last but not least is the case that I've got, and check it out, it comes in this bag. And so the case I've gone for is a Silston RVZ01B for black. And uh, so this, yeah, so it's a mini ITX case. It's probably the size of an Xbox One, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and it looks pretty cool. It's got a optical slot for a DVD drive if you intend to use one. Um, USB 3 port, big fan at the back. I think it's 120 mil maybe. Um, what else is it? Oh, let's have a look inside. It doesn't have thumb screws for the side panels, um, but it's okay because once I have it all installed, I won't need to bother too much about it. All right, so this is the internals. Um, so, what's unique about this is so you can fit two SSD drives in there. Uh, this is where you put your optical optical slot here. Put that one wrong. Um, I think you can mount another hard drive there. Power supply. Oh, so power supply. Where's that go? Oh, power supply gets mounted at the front here, and there's like some fans, additional fans. So there's one fan there, and there's room for two more here. Um, and what's unique about this is that it has a riser card, and so that's where you put your graphics card, uh, and so that's how it's out, able to get into like a thin frame, and then it has like two PCI slots for that graphics card. There, yeah. cool, huh? And here we are, we're all done. All right, let's have a look. So this is what the internals look like now. Uh, you've got hard drive, CPU, motherboard, the memory, and uh, the M2, SSD is actually on the underside of the motherboard. Uh, in here is also the graphics card. Uh, so it took a little bit longer to build than I was hoping for, and part of the trouble was that the power supply sits underneath here. Um, there's all these cables, you can see, all these cables for the front panel, the LED, uh, the USB ports on the front, and I had to sort of route it all around the back here, and it was really tight. Um, so that took a little bit longer than I was hoping too, but it ended up working out fine, and so this is it here, the build. Um, as I said before, the power supply cables are modular, so I only plug in what I need to. So I've only got one for the hard drive, and then you've got the motherboard, and there's also the ATX motherboard. And um, with the way the PCI graphics card works uh, for this type build, is that there's a riser card with also an extender, and then it sits underneath there. And that's pretty much it. Um, it has these magnetic fan filters that are supposed to stick on, but 
doesn't really work. So, so I'll figure that one out later. Um, so that's pretty much it for this build. Thanks for watching and um, we'll let you know how it goes in terms of performance. I did power it on before so it does sort of work. Um, but now I'm going to install Windows and we'll be all set. Thanks for watching.